it can take less than a minute to find and then buy a 38 centimetre machete. Whether it's online or on the streets, they are readily available to people who want them. A blade of any size can be fatal, but the appeal of intimidating weapons means the youngsters that Sicarius works with even dress differently to conceal them. These machetes are being concealed by these kids. Some of them wearing two pairs of pants and they're concealed down the leg. That's where most of them are concealed. Two pairs of trousers. Two pairs of trousers. He's a former gang boss in Liverpool who's now working to help young people who are carrying knives. So in order to combat the problem, we need to educate them. and We need mediation. We need to bring mediation to the table. And we need to educate them on the consequences. As a mother, it's just heartbreaking. There's parents all over the UK who give talks like this one. My 16-year-old son, Daniel, was stabbed to death. My son dies every morning, I wake up. And for every other grieving mother, it's the same thing every day. For you, is it all about increasing the deterrent? Yes, it is. It's got, there's got to be a deterrent. The kids know that, you know, if they do get arrested, they'll only do 18 months. They're gonna do it, aren't they? I keep saying this all along, there is no deterrent for knife crime. The government says the number of serious knife injuries are down by a quarter across England and Wales. They say they are focused on prevention and tough enforcement, but acknowledge there is still much more to do. A Home Office spokesperson said they are going further to stop more zombie-style knives and machetes from being used on our streets. Once implemented, the Online Safety Act will require tech companies to proactively tackle content which promotes the sale of illegal knives online. Retailers say they are doing what they can, but it is also the root causes of why these weapons are being used that also have to be tackled. Tom Parmenter, Sky News.